from Congo Brazzaville, and I'm going to present Emoto Peanut Butter. Emoto means peanut butter in Lingala, which is our national language. So this is the team, which is the, um, we have one manager, one seat technicians, and our seasonal lab laborers, and me, of course. So we'll be assisted by uh, an accounting, accounting and uh, audit firm, and as well as agricultural research institute from Cameroon and uh, Congo in supplying seeds and best practice in growing peanuts and uh, maize. What is Tivula Group? It's a small farm <coughs> growing exotic fruits, and it is located at 500, sorry, five kilo, 25 kilometers from Point Noir. Yeah, yeah you can see it here. Uh, 25 kilometers from Point Noir, which is the second city of Congo, Brazzaville. We grow mangoes. Oranges, pineapples, and safu. Safu, which is a, a lot of fruit. And um, we'd like to, we plan to grow peanut and maize and move into peanut processing. Why peanut processing? I don't know uh, if you have already seen something like this. I think you have. Perhaps. Yeah. This is how peanut is sold in Hong Kong and there are in most African countries. And as you can see, it's a very, very, very big farm. <coughs> this peanut in this basin can be, uh, it's a very high uh, <coughs> risk of contamination from people walking around, dust can graze, and yeah, everything else yeah, can just come into this basin. Or we also have some flies and anything you can feed that, that can Second issue is that uh, as it is in contact with oxygen, so it's uh, uh, short, its shelf life is very, very short. Diarrheal uh, diseases are the fourth cause of death in Congo by WHO. And most of diarrheal diseases are related to food we eat. The last point is uh, aflatoxin. People just don't know about aflatoxin, unfortunately. Um, our growers, our farmers still uh, grow peanuts and store it very traditionally. And uh, that is a, a big issue, and we think that uh, we have to raise awareness about this. What is our solution? We are our farm, which is growing. Uh, uh, fruits and we will grow peanuts and we take peanuts from our we take peanuts from our farm and process it into peanut butter. Of course if there is high demand we can buy peanut from local farmers and process it to peanut butter. Uh, our peanut butter will be processed with quality rules respecting uh, and international or local standards. This is our current like, landscape, market landscape. We have actually uh, imported peanut butter, which is a uh, very high shelf life cost, but it tastes bad. Not that bad, but it tastes not good because we have some sugar, we have some salt, yeah. And you have also this, what you have just seen, outdoor market peanut butter. This peanut butter, as we say, it, is a, it has a good taste, but a very low shelf life. And people who just cannot go to market to buy this because of health reasons, buy peanuts uh, at market, roast it, and smash it to make it all peanut at home. So what we think our product in Moto will be here, yeah? be very confident. We, it will have a good shelf life and a high taste. As you can see here, we have all this, this, um, this main, this meals are Congolese meals, and um, almost all Congolese eat these meals at least once, once a month. Mm -hmm. 
This is just to show you how peanut butter is important in our culture. And if I say, I've taken these figures, 500,000 uh, people, just because we have something like 800,000 people in Pointe Noire, and uh, I think that 500,000 people eat, eat, eat uh, a meal containing peanut butter. Which are our, our customer segments? So the main segments are restaurants, outdoor markets, and supermarkets. But we are going to focus on street restaurants. Why street restaurants? Because this street restaurant, we have more than 200 street restaurants feeding around 10,000 people, workers. By workers, I mean here. Yeah. So those who work, we have taxi drivers, we have students, we have all these people who work in town, and we can go back home at, mid at 12 for lunch. So they eat in street restaurants. And the pay is the restaurant owner, of course, it is our customer. The influencer is a consumer, and um, our criteria is the taste. What? Our target is to have 20 restaurants, so 10% of this restaurant. Why? Because our criteria is very subjective to taste. Everyone has his way of tasting. And uh, we, we, so to, to have the best, the best product, we need to develop a, a, a relationship with our customers. <laughs> our customers, our main, our customers are the restaurant owners. This, our, this is our today's customers, but our tomorrow's customers are our consumers. Why? Why do I say this? Because if the consumer, so I would say, is 10,000 people who come to this restaurant, eat the, our peanut butter and think that it's good, we will take it or we will tell their families to buy this kind of peanut butter. This is our product. Of course, as it is a peanut butter, it is full of energy, vitamins, and protein. It will be high quality and healthy. The peanut butter store, uh, start, uh, peanut butter in these plastic bags will be used many times, so after opening you can just keep the box, the, the box in the, the fridge and reuse it many times. And also the box can be reusable. I think you have already eaten sweet restaurant, sometimes we need to put salt, sugar or something in these boxes. So this is also, this plastic box can be used for salt, paper and everything. When and where? We want to start next harvest time. Why next harvest time? Because it is during next harvest time we have prices, peanut prices are very low, so it's a very good opportunity for us to start at that time. And we have also one store which is in one month. What is our strategy to go to market? So the first, the first six months we will be in the farm, sowing, weeding, and harvesting. The next step will be um, in the town producing and marketing, of course. And our target is to reach 200 kg of, um, is to sell 200 kg of peanut butter. And as I said, if you have uh, this, um, this 20 restaurants, and these street restaurants can buy up to two kg peanut butter per week. So if I have 20 restaurants, I will have something like 40 kg per week. So I may have, I will need only five weeks to reach this 200, this 200 kg of peanut butter. So it's good for me. The next step will be 500, so we have to, to, to sell 500 kg of peanut butter. We need to reinforce our distribution network. Yeah, so as you can see here, this is um, a map of Point Noir. We have here, yeah, we have all these, all these are quite to our companies in this area. It is called uh, an industrial, industrial area, yeah. And you have in this area, you have one hospital, you have a big market, and you have schools. So most of people here, most of people who work here have lunch in this area. 
and what we target, our target is to have at least 20 restaurants. We want just to start at 20 restaurants, yeah. This is our store, so we can easily get to reach our 20 restaurants here to delivery, since our strategy is door-to-door -door delivery. We, and we can easily have a feedback from these consumers, which are there, and which are our, for our tomorrow's uh, um, customers. Okay, so this is how we feel ourselves compared to our competitors. In fact, we just have one competitor, which is this one, because this, <coughs> this outdoor, this peanut sold in outdoor markets uh, is in a very bad position, and we know if we do well, we can replace it. This homemade peanut butter, people, people make their own peanut butter at home just because they cannot go to market. So if we can have, if we can make a high shelf life, a high quality and, and a <clears throat> low price peanut butter which will be available, all these people here making their own peanut butter at home will take our peanut butter. Progress, okay. Uh, up to now, what we have already done, we have made a, a sample survey market to know how people want the peanut, but we still have to, to know to do a, a bigger market research to know how we're going to shape our peanut butter. Because is it going to are we going to sell it in one kg boxes, in uh, 500 grams boxes, or in 300 grams boxes? So we still have to complete the survey. Also, we have to purchase machines so as we can have a very good quality peanut butter. And at last, we have to train our employees to, to make a good peanut butter. Yes. Investment. What we use to, just as everywhere, we are very related to, to the climate, to the rains. In Congo, we have nine months of rains and three months of dry <laughs> And roads are very bad. From, my, uh, from our farm to down during the rainy season. So there are some activities we can only do during this season. And such as building facilities in the, in the, the farm, we can only do it during the, 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 dry, the, 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 the dry season, from June to September. And so this is what we want to do. We, um, in October, we will start planting. We start planting in October, yes. We have, we have rain starting. And um, weeding also, as it rains a lot, so we have much wheat. And then in February, February, yeah, this is the harvest, the harvest period. And we have also during Mar March and April, we have this. Uh, we have very high temperature, so we are, can easily dry our grains and process it. So we, we, we process and dry in from January, from March to May. Investment items. We, we think and we believe that we are, you can rely on us. Why? Because of our assets, which are technical assistance we have from uh, Ira, Ira, and uh, Sirat, which are agricultural researches um, institute from Congo and Cameroon. We have a partnership, and we feel we can have pigs, these pigs bags, which can help us store uh, peanuts in very good conditions to address aflatoxin. We have an experienced team, which is working with us right now, and we will uh, hire more people. And also, <coughs> we are on this, this, our business model. We have a farm. This is our farm. We have spaces between trees. We have something like 10 meters between trees. And what we like to do is to plant maize and peanut. Why? First, because 
we spent a lot of money weeding. We have a lot of weeds here between the trees. So if we plant um, peanuts, it will reduce. So we will save money from weeding. And also, peanuts and uh, maize. So we have crop rotation, will help us fix nitrogen. Pack that, Jules. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, uh, maize and uh, peanuts are short-term crop rotation, short-term crop, compared to uh, mangoes, pineapples, or oranges. Uh, we have to wait for five years to harvest. With peanut, peanut and maize, we just have something like three to four months, so it will bring us some cash flow. And lastly, we have uh, villagers. We know that <coughs> within five years. Within five years, we have so much shade, so much shade that we could not grow uh, peanuts and maize between the trees. So what we're doing today is we are going to train, by year two, we are going to train villagers, since our farm is in the village, to grow peanuts and maize. So within four to five years, these growers, this, this villager will be so experienced that they will be able to supply us with peanut and maize. So when you are investing on us, you just not inviting on our company, you're investing on a on a community. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.